gonna take the sub beam end assembly and the end support beam. You can tell the difference because this one does not have the plates on the inside and it's ready to accept this part. Before you start putting them together, you wanna to take the net support rod and clip it with the uh, insert on the top, which would be opposite this pinhole, and take this part and slide it in all the way until the holes line up. You can see it flush into complement each other. The screw holes are lined up, the pin holes lined up. Take the screws, start them with the Allen. Do not tighten them. Just get them started and do the same thing on the other side. There's eight screws. Just get them all started. Then take the pins, slide them in that hole there. Same on the other side. And then you hold the pins in and flip it over. And then you can take your cotter pins and put them through the little hole that's there to keep them in place. Like that. So they kind of snap to the side and tension hold on there like that. Then flip it back over. Take your Allen wrench. Tighten these down. That's the installing the sub end support beam. This is the middle support wheel going into the center support beam. There's a little hole there for the wheel that these slots right here go into. You have to install the wheel first and then put these pieces in these pieces and they go underneath and slide into the wheel like this. And you flip it over, take this top piece, align it with the holes, take your Allen wrench, and just align the holes for the screws. You have to hold this like that. Get this first screw in. And take the second one. Wiggle it around, make sure you got the, the threads. Take, tighten those all the way down. You can take the ends off of the strap and thread it through this loop. Then linking the two, two of the beams, this will be the same for all of uh, each link pin, each linked side. Take your link pin and your link hinges, and you're threading one side and the other side. All the way through. And you're taking your link clip and pushing it on to where it, right in the middle, center, center of this. That's Straight in the middle, you have this little groove that fits right there, clips. Then take the two sides, one with a recessed notch, one with a protruding notch. And you put those together, kind of bend it out. So you can get the pin through. Link that in the center, but take your link clip. Push it on.
and that'll be the same for all of them. The rest of the assembly is the same for the aluminum as the carbon fiber. Next, we're gonna install the legs, stand the whole beam up. You know, so you wanna make sure that these fins are aligned with the slots on the top of the leg and that when you clip it in, that you push down on this, making sure that clips down, that the beams are flush with the top of the leg and that the clips on either side are clipped on the bottom of the leg. That it's not fully installed until both of those clips are on, are on the bottom of the leg. You can push on that clip to get it to go. Do it to the other side. Aligning the fins on into the slots. And pushing down on the beam to get that to go flush. Now that it's stable with the legs, you want to make sure that it's uh, lifted up. Uh, you want to lift it up and make sure that these are aligned. It's not cockeyed. It's not um, off center, but these are straight. So you want to lift it up and get it straight aligned. Just like that, and go to each, each one, do the same thing. Lift it up, straighten it out. Lift it up, straighten it out. Next, you want to take the tension block and the tension screw. Take out the screw. And also, take out with your Allen wrench the cable screw. This is where the uh, you would put lubricant on this so that it doesn't seize up. And you're going to take the bow string now, or the bow uh, rod, and your tension cable. And taking this red bushing off, putting that through, putting the red bushing back on, leaving the washer and this block on this side, the red bushing on this side, and putting the tension block on the inside of the bow. Same side as the uh, hinge there. And just get it started. And do the same thing with the other one. Taking off the tension screw. Installing, putting more uh, lubricant on this one. Taking your other bow with the tension screw, taking this uh, cable screw off, putting the new uh, the tension screw with the red bushing on that side into the tension block. Next, we're gonna put the bows on. So take the hinge pin out, the hinge clip, Install the tension block into the keyhole and then put align the hole for the bow and put the hinge pin in. Put in the clip. Do the same to the other side. Next we're gonna install the cable. It comes to you in a roll, and you have to unroll it. Not not just string it out, but actually unroll it so that it doesn't get twisted when you install it. So lay it out first and laying it on the ground. You're gonna be threading the cable through. The cable guides on the underside of the beam. And there's five total. And that includes the center wheel. Threading it through these cable guides. Threading it through the middle of the center wheel. Two, 
two on this side. And you're gonna take your cable screw and the Allen wrench and put the loop of the cable in the tension block and put the cable screw through the loop. Hand tight that and then put, doesn't need to be real tight, just put that uh, Allen wrench there and do the same to the other side. Next we're going to roll out the net. Take off the post caps, set them to the side, revealing that little groove to put the loops of the net cable in. Do one at a time. Turn, it, turn the loop to get it onto the bow and then turn it straight so that it's aligned with the beams. And here comes the sensitive part. There's two things going on here. One is the tension block needs to be in that keyhole so that it doesn't turn and so that it doesn't, uh, if it gets past it, it might break the keyhole or um, spin. You're also watching this center wheel to bring it to the ground. And as you can see on this side, the tension block is not in the keyhole. So you need on both sides, you push the bow in so that it aligns in that keyhole. So right now I'm just gonna take the drill and slowly pull it together, keeping that tension block in that keyhole. Don't wanna pull it too far past because then we're gonna pull the other side out. And we're gonna do this a little bit at a time on both sides so that we don't over tighten it and we get it even. Each side, we wanna tighten the tension screw down, keeping the tension block in the, the keyhole of the center beam, making it even. You see there's play there on both sides. I wanna keep that tension block in the keyhole. Don't let it fall out and each side a little bit at a time so that it, it's even. On this side, I got about an inch of tension, but I can rock that back, keeping that tension block in the keyhole. And that's my indicator to know where, that I'm even. As you're doing this, you wanna make sure that this uh, is seated in the correct position inside that mold. Still got some play. I got about half an inch with the bow completely set down. This side I got about an inch. I'm going to set this one down. Give it a little bit more. So each tension block is about even on both sides. The bows are seated. There's no play. Now I'm going to go to this side again. Tighten this down. And then I'll finish up on that side. See how there's very little play in the bows anymore. So I'll tighten this one down for its final tighten. No play. The tension blocks are even past the keyhole on both sides. And the center wheel is now on the ground. Don't over tighten it. Alternate both sides. Get it uh, to where we where the center wheels on the ground and the tension blocks on both sides are even uh, on both sides of the keyhole. And next we're going to install the rods, the net tension rods. So you're going to install it into the sleeve of the net, put the bottom end in the slot in the center beam, take the tension band, put it around the bottom, there's a little groove that it fits into underneath the slot for the net cable. 
Then you're going to take the cable net and put it into the slot on top of the tension rod. Push it down in and then pull the tension band back in through the loop of the cable net and then on top of the tension rod that holds it there. Do the same to the other side. And then we can replace the post caps with the uh, slots for the cable, the net cable on the inside. Next, we're gonna take the center height strap. You're gonna loosen one of these bolts, flip it over, and then reinstall the bolt with the strap in the middle. Tightening those down with an Allen wrench. And take this strap and clip it together. The center is going to be 34. The outside is going to be 36. So you take your tape measure and measure the top of this net to 34 inches. In order to move it and align it, you take these wheels, pull the pins, flip up the wheels, and then put the pins back in on all four sides. Do not move it without flipping up these wheels, allowing the weight of the net to rest on the wheels. We're not going to lift it. We're not going to drag it. We got every time we want to move it, we want to flip the wheels up, move it to where we want it, and then flip the wheels down so that it's stationary. There's uh, court uh, lines on the inside of the beams. Uh, there's a white indication line. So we're going to move it to the position we want here, align it on the court line and also in the middle. Make sure it's in the middle and on the lines and then flip the wheels down. So in order to move it out of the way, take the wheels, flip them up, put the pins back in on all four sides and move it out of the way. These are omnidirectional wheels. So it doesn't matter how, which way the net's going, you can move it off the court. <laughs>